everybody, this is my kitchen and this story is set in the kitchen. It's a lovely book and it's one of our favourites too. It's called The Tiger Who Came to Tea and it's by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, hmm, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm rather hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. <gasps> and he still looked hungry as Sophie passed him the buns. Oh, they look nice. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank. He drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, oh thank you for my nice tea, I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, oh I don't know what to do, I've got nothing for daddy's supper, the tiger has eaten it all. Sophie found that she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all of the water in the tap. Just then Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. Sophie's daddy said, oh I know what we'll do, I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. They had a lovely supper with sausage and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. They also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. It's almost time to me th for me to cook my dinner. I hope the tiger's left me some food in my kitchen. I can't go to a cafe. I'd better start checking the cupboards and the fridge. See you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.